Hello everyone, this is Hubert from Traveling with Hubert. On Christmas Day, Kathy and I rode around a little bit and we rode over to Leslie and DeSoto, Georgia. Uh, very, I'm very familiar with those two places. I pastored both the Leslie Methodist Church and the DeSoto Methodist Church for a total of 10 years. And uh, so we hope you enjoy this video. Uh, these are what inspired me to focus on small towns or just, just any places really in Georgia or, or wherever we go that were once thriving but maybe aren't doing so well anymore. We ask that you subscribe to our channel. We uh, have grown pretty well over the past couple of months. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. If you like the videos, give us that thumbs up. We like to see uh, those. It means that you've given us a like for the video. Uh, YouTube uh, responds to that. If your video gets likes, they are more apt to promote it than they are if it doesn't. If there's something about Leslie and DeSoto that we didn't talk about that you think is important and it needs to be mentioned to put it down in the comment section of the video description and uh, share this with someone uh, especially somebody that likes museums because uh, there's a museum in Leslie called the Rural, Georgia Rural Telephone Museum and uh, y'all have a blessed day Okay, honey, we're coming into Leslie, Georgia. Okay. If you want to live in a safe place, this is a safe place to live. They don't have a whole lot going on. That's right. Like, or anything. Right. But it's safe. They have a few places here, honey. There's a, there's a place on the right here. Um, it's a produce processing place. Uh, Edward L. Myrick, produce shipping and receiving. And what kind of many people do they have in Florida? Well, it's mostly seasonals. I, I really don't know. Uh, have a church here, Piney Grove Baptist Church. That's always a neat place. Yeah, it's a neat place, and then they have the uh, Sharp uh, Irrigation place here. They were my church members down at DeSoto. We're going to do Leslie and DeSoto. We're going to ride down Highway 280 and then come back. church over there. But they have a pool here, a uh, garden club. It's a, kind of an exclusive uh, pool. You have to be a member of the garden club to, to go there. Yeah, Dollar, Dollar General. General. Yes, yes they I do. I see they're closed today, but it's, it's Christmas, Christmas Day. day. here that belonged to Dr. Wilson and he really liked flowers and plants and things like that. But I don't think. Do they have just one police officer? Well they got two police officers that rotate? Uh they two or three. You have to be careful they will give you a ticket for speed. That trailer's been there for a while. We don't ever see anybody there. And it looks new. It is. And well, we saw the, it when it, they put it in, it? you know. And it's in the middle of a field. Yes.
And this little place up here is the soda. Um, just do a quick ride around, ride through. Could be. It's been a while since we've been here. That's where James Dalton lives, real estate person. Yeah. Miss Hazel lived here, and we were talking about her house. Uh, some cars there. Somebody's there, honey. I wonder who moved in it. Uh, no. Place across the road. I don't think there anybody lives in it, honey. But it looked like once it was a nice house. It was, yes. I wonder they moved in the house. I don't know. One of her daughters, I guess. I don't know where Stacy lived. But... Now, they've redone this house since I've been in this area. It's, it's a big house. Big house, and they've done a really nice job. Mm This one is needs to be redone. The uh, building on the left is the uh, Cuts Restaurant, and it's been closed for a while. You see that big purple sign? Yeah, I see it, honey. We're gonna ride back that way. I think way. it must be down there on the end on the right. Yeah, we, we're gonna what's explore. Going on. Which stop sign? That one right there at the railroad track. I stopped. Right I was on the railroad track. I know. <laughs> I stopped. I just didn't stop in front of the sign. Oh, okay. I knew I was supposed to stop. This building on the right is the Civic Center. This is the DeSoto Methodist Church. Spent 10 years pastoring this church. That's a nice little church. Still yeah. looks good. It does. Put up a big cross and a manger. Get a picture of that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Chokey Creek Elevator Company. I don't know whether it's still working or not, in business or not. Key Lounge, honey. Oh, it's a lounge? That's what it says. Okay. The trailer. And here's some Disco D's. Cross the 
road. Yep, that's Papa Mama's right there, honey, in that little building. And here's the fire department. Okay. Now, this is really a quiet place, and you don't have to really worry about things, do you? No, you don't. part of the residential section. You can see pretty much all that this is. Mm -hmm. Restoring that place. Uh, post office is yeah, over I'm here. Now where we're at. Yeah. James Dalton had that for sale. He tried to sell it to me way, way back. This house. Yeah. You just need to completely redo it. On yes. This side. Yeah, there was a hole in the roof. Stacy lived back here in that house. Huh? Which house? That. Right back there where the cars were. Stacy? Yeah. But again, that's just, you know, the way it is in these small towns. Just, uh, yeah. This used to be the one of the schools. This may have been the uh, African American school. Why, why we got so many vehicles there? Somebody's got a business. Yards? Somebody's got a, a, a. I can't think of the word right now, honey. But they do South metal place? work. Oh, yeah, a metal work. Metal work in place. So. Yes. yes. That's St. John's Baptist Church. Um, it's a fairly new building. The old building burned, honey. And they oh, took their okay. insurance money and built that. And I was part of their 10th anniversary rededication service. I was I glad like they invited that. me to do that. They got theirs all decorated. Yes. What's wrong with that place? I've always been curious about that place. Yeah, I have too. So many windows in it. Do you see them? They just yeah. Some kind of farm. Auction that there. Yeah. This is where they have that uh, antique. Yes, this is this is the uh, Leslie School, and they've turned it into the Civic Center. Yes. And that's all it goes to? Yeah. Goes down here to this field. Um. And this is it, honey. Well, I see something crossing the road. It's a dog. He's watching us. He's a little bitty dog. Yeah. He must live back there. I think he does, honey.
looks that way. There's smoke over there, yes. house yes the road there. and you would never know it by looking at it now but <clears throat> the original house is up here the, the, where the tall roof is mm -hmm. and the, there's been at least two additions out this way and one out the back so they just keep adding to it that's not nice. i like that yeah. house too that's a nice house that's my and favorite little, house right there yes Somebody, this this house was vacant when I was pastoring the church here on the right. They got all kind of animals out there. Yes. Big house right across from this church. Yes, it has ever since I've known it. We're we'll right down this way first. Baptist Church on the right. church. I don't know whether she still does it or not, but you know, she did yard work and that's one of the places that she took care of. good sizable insurance settlement from it um, didn't uh, didn't rebuild that's place for sale mm -hmm. all this up here on the right on the other side this little store was buildings that's where their post office was yeah. Down. The 
place still down here. Yes. Yeah. And That's then these buildings. Where that restaurant was. Yeah. Didn't make it. City Hall here on the left. What is that antique place? Could be. Could be. Is that why they're doing something? And uh, just, you know, just a little country town. At one time it was really thriving. Uh, I was told at one time they had seven grocery stores in this place. You know. Now whether that's true or not, I have no way of knowing. can do anything with them, you know. But overall, they got some nice homes here, and mm -hmm. it's not that bad. No, it's not. It's just got all these empty uh, old buildings here. Yeah. This looks like a potato chip place. It does, on it? Yeah. seen just about all we can see here. Mm -hmm. This is the telephone company. And it's right across from the Georgia Rural Telephone Museum. And this little brick building used to be uh, the doctor's office, I think. Uh, here's that where they tore down all the burnt buildings and everything. 